All right, this is the second part of our tutorial for how to make a car 3D printable from Thingiverse. Uh, I already ran this one through Make Printable, so that way it got rid of most of the bad things. When you go into uh, Mesh Mixer, you simply import your STL file, and then if you hit Inspector, it'll take a quick peek. Since nothing popped up, this one is right now ready for printing, except for this problem when you look underneath those wheels are floating. So here is a quick tutorial for how to add the axles that'll make this so it can print. Even though they won't rotate, you'll be able to make it work. So on Mesh Mix, simply grab the cylinder tool and drop it into your project. It'll be huge. So then you need to go to Transform and you need to make that three millimeters on each side because of the way I shrunk everything else down. I'm going to move my object browser, and then I'm going to find that uh, new axle. Notice it is a vertical axle, so I'm going to start it rotating. And once I do that, I can change it to just negative 90 by typing the number so it's the exact way I want it. Then I move the axle down in one plane, slide it in the other plane, nudge it till I'm happy with its location, grab the handle to stretch it out, check my planes again stretch it out a little further because it's not reaching now I've got a axle that's pretty close to the place I want it and I'm gonna change the sizes so I'm gonna shut off uniform scaling and I want the X to be three millimeters and I want the Z to be three millimeters and now, I am pretty confident that that will hold my wheels in place while the project prints. Simple to nudge and tweak till you're really, really happy, but I know that that is what I need. And then simply go down to this tool, and with your axle selected, do Duplicate, which it was waiting for me to click Accept on my changes, but then I was able to do it and then go back to transform and take your second ax axle and simply drag it forward and now you have got a car that is printable. This is what I meant by clicking accept which I hadn't done last time. Let me show you the shaders real quick. This lets you see how it looks when it's hollow. Uh, and then when you're all done you simply need to take all three by holding shift and clicking the top one and click combine so now it is one part and then click export and save it as an STL and I'm just gonna put with axles so I can tell which one it is once you've got that done you are ready to test print your car in whatever design program it is that you like to use